I've never talked about any of my creative projects outside of YouTube in a video, but this one's incredibly personal and easily my current best. So today, instead of a regular video, I wanted to make this one about my comic that I've been working on for months with heavily limited mentions, Nar Walshire. If you're interested at any point and want to read to hopefully criticize it, DM me on Discord by joining my server in the description. I'd seriously appreciate it as it's the only way to grow as a writer. So what's it about? My comic Nar Walshire is about a 17 year old Narwhal guy who's confused about his sexuality due to the environment that he's grown up with conflicting with him. So as a test for himself, he goes onto a dating website and meets a 25 year old man named Arthur and they start dating. Naturally, it doesn't go well because that's incredibly gross for obvious reasons, but later on, while still dating Arthur, he meets a girl that he thinks he likes while also having conflicting feelings on liking her due to him being confused about his sexuality in the first place. That's pretty much the gist of what happens in chapter 1, and the main plot is chapter 2 and 3 will continue to explore these themes of being sexually confused with yourself and the process of grooming that Nar goes through while dating Arthur, and Nar's own inner turmoil for, I'll just say, many different reasons. Characters and other details. The comic has a pretty slow pace that's also somehow fast, and a lot of talking as I attempt to replicate many aspects from my own life, like where the story takes place, locations in the story, and the characters, as they're all, aside from Radke and Haley, based off of real people to some extent. Especially Nar, who's heavily based off of me, not only personality-wise to a degree, but also in other aspects like being sexually confused, his propensity to talk to himself, and his very, very light anxiety, with also some other things that he does similarly to me. I didn't go through or do anything like what Nar did, like no, I've never dated a guy who's too old for me or anything like that, but by basing him off of me while still giving him a slightly different personality from how I see myself, I can better write how he works in the story, and later I can also better write the negative things that happen to him as the story continues. Also, if I'm making it sound like our main character is simply a good person who's having all this bad done to him due to his sexual confusion, your assumption is wrong. Like everyone else in the story, Nara is still heavily flawed and he does very bad things. So even though we follow the story from his perspective, pretty much, and we get all of his thoughts, he's undeniably not innocent. As for Arthur, he's the loosest of loosely based off of my best friend for reasons, and he's exactly the kind of toxic freak who would date someone that's 8 years younger than them. Why write this weird story? As I've stated, I've been confused with my sexuality for a while, and I've learned that it's not usually a black and white thing, and for someone writing the story, it kinda helps me feel more comfortable with who I am and who I might be when I'm not confused anymore. I also haven't seen any LGBTQ plus stories that explore the negative effects of a very confused, maybe gay young person dating someone who's not only too old for them with clearly ill intent, but also weird emotional baggage, or any stories that seriously look more into what the horrible experience of being confused about your sexuality in an intensely homophobic environment looks and feels like, which is something I want to tackle more as a B-plot for Nar himself in chapter 3 or in the middle of chapter 2. It's not only personal but original, and LGBT issues are something that I'm becoming more passionate about as time goes on and as I continue writing this story. I also find it to just be an interesting story as well, and writing jokes into it without it just being that, like my previous massive comic Purgatorian, is just super fun, as Purgatorian was pretty much just supposed to be funny. I honestly want to see how I decide to end the story as well, since it can end in a variety of ways, as all I've done is map out generally what will happen in all chapters, but I haven't mapped out exactly how it will all happen. My goals with this. I intend for this story to be a tragedy as pretty much nothing ever goes right and everything just seems to get worse endlessly due to Nar's age and impulsiveness. It's undeniably intended to be a sad story with some humorous parts due to absurdity or awkward dialogue, but I do have a reason for this. What I want people to take away from this comic is mostly two things. Sexuality is very confusing and inconsistent, especially when you're a teenager, and two, a better understanding on how grooming and verbal abuse affects people. Realistically, as a sexually confused 18 year old myself who hasn't been groomed or verbally abused in the way that Arthur abuses Nar before, these are pretty difficult writing goals to achieve, but I think I can do it. Again, I'd like to see if you all don't think I can by reading my comic, which I will be sending to whoever asks in my Discord DMs. Keep the criticism honest, constructive, and without flat insults, and I'll certainly consider them for the future. And remember that I might disagree. Hopefully you enjoy what I made if you decide to DM me and read it, and if you don't want to read it, then that's fine too. And unless I have some insane or major update for this comic, I want to say that there won't be another video on this channel about Nor Walshire. 
Pretty much, this is a very personal pageant project about confusion with your own sexuality. And if you find it interesting, DM me on Discord. My server link's in the description. Goodbye, everyone.